Oh, Bill, there's a power here with the um, Ultraman Rube, Shokugan Rube Crystal Set 1, or SG for short. Um, obviously, this is the candy toy line of Rube Crystals. And so, obviously, as you can see here, the crystals we have are Juggler's Juggler, Mecha Gormora, and Exceed X. And he falls. Um, so, you might be wondering what happened to the other five for the lineup of eight. Well, number one was obviously Taro. Taro, I don't need to focus. Ginga was two. Orb Thunderbreaster was three. Gaia. Gaiatron. Um, Galactron is number five. And then Gaia V2 is number eight. Obviously, because I already got these three from Gashapon set one. And these from the Rube Gyro. So I only needed to pick up these three. Again, initially, I only got these two. Not knowing I only needed one more. So, yeah. Um, let's look at the boxes for each of them. So, obviously, as you can see here, there's also Flame and Blue Aqua. With the Juggler's Juggler Crystal. On the top of it, just showing what you can do with it. Um, here's the lineup. It's too small, which is why I kind of had a hard time trying to remember who was on it. Then, um, just the warnings and such, and I had a difficult time opening it. Mecha Gorma is basically the same, it's just two images changed in text. And as you can see for these two, these are both purple on the back. Because as we see from Exceed X, um, it's red. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, now Exceed X it was released in, um, er, these two were released in Gashapon set 2. With Exceed X being the, um, getting the rare treatment like Jade Royal Mega Master with a beautiful rainbowy rim. But obviously I'm going for whatever the crystal was released in first. So technically the only one you need to get is Juggler's Juggler. But set two is kind of hard to track down because CS Toys did not get any. So anyways, here are our crystals. So, our three crystals, I gotta mention the candy they come with because they are candy toys. It's this, it's this gum candy. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not, I want to try it, but at the same time, I'm worried it's gum. <laughs> it's nothing bad with gum or anything, it's just like, I don't, I just kind of want a quick taste of it but if it's gum then that will mean I have to eat it throughout the review and no one wants that so I'll save it for later and give it to my siblings anyways here's our first crystal Juggler's Juggler and this crystal looks pretty neat obviously Juggler has become a big character since orb and such and just because here's a comparison <laughs> with the two partners. So here's the Rosso formation, even though it's supposed to just be all of them because he's a kaiju, even though he's technically an anti hero. So I don't know why they keep making him a kaiju, but no more. He is. C105 or 106. 106. Basically, just like um, the candy toys or the gas ponds. The gas ponds are labeled under V. I don't know why, but obviously, the candy toys are labeled as C. So, and the differences between these ones, what I can tell is that the kanji is just. The outline for the kanji is just way more obvious than um, the DX ones. Because the image quality here 
is pretty clean. Um, again, I don't have any comparison to a gash pot and candy toys. So, and like again, the spring quality is pretty nice. It feels like a DX one, just the clicks are not as clicky. Anyways, here's Mecha Gormra, um, one of the main four kaijus that are used to purify orb origin. Um, I don't know when Mecha Gorma came from. Excuse me. Um, but he's pretty cool. This is Inferno, I believe. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I just like the fire background. The fire backgrounds on these are pretty cool. Obviously, it's just red, and he is CO92. I'm so used to just seeing B. Last but not least, here's Exceed X. Um, finally, we get a toy of Exceed X after two years of his sounds being in both the Orb Ring and G Riser. But they just never release toys for it. So we finally get something for Exceed X. Here is X for comparison. I again I like the background with the X rainbow y shape and such. Russell formation and blue formation. He is C one ten. And there's that. So let's get our Rube Jaro. Here's a Rube Jaro. We're gonna go in chronological order. So we're gonna start with Jugglish Juggler. the sound editor for this <laughs> because did they think his original sound was too long or something because if you couldn't tell that's not juggler's voice that's justice ultraman justice <laughs> i i don't know who decided or who thought justice was close to juggler so, that really baffles me that it's a completely wrong character. <laughs> Again, his sound is pretty neat. I think this is also the first toy with Mecha Gormra because I don't know. I never seen him in anything else, so I assume this is his first thing that he's actually released. In. Obviously, he'll go back into the Pandora panel. Last but not least, Exceed X. See, his sound is cut up also, but it's not, it's not that bad. It gets, again, it, it gets what needs to be out. I don't know why I said it that way. I, 
obviously he would have benefited from a rainbow color, but um, obviously this is a general ultra crystal, so rube crystal. So, and no, he will not do anything in the rube slugger because he would just say rube slugger attack due to his. And also, because if he was in the Rube Slugger, he would just do Ginga's sound, because um, they're, they're two completely different pin sets, as you can see. So, yeah. Overall, again, with Gashapon set one, um, if you don't really care for, like, you know, basically the same amount of things that were in Gashapon set one, only, only get Mecha Gormora. But then again, you can get them from Gashapon set too. But that's the candy toys are technically more easier to get than the Gashapons. So I'll just say get Mega Gormra. He's a pretty neat kaiju, and also again, he's one of the four main kaiju's that purify the orb and crystal. Um, XCX is a pretty fine crystal. Like again, he's. Probably one of the he's probably the coolest one out of the whole set, but it's just juggler is just so baffling because like they they messed up really bad with his like how could you mistake juggler for justice I don't or how can you mistake justice for juggler like I I don't understand that. Like, I understand, like, I understand, like, probably his voice clip was too long, but, like, what made him think that making it justice would make any kid not care? <laughs> it doesn't make sense, because I'm pretty sure kids will catch on with him, like, huh, that does not sound like Juggler. <laughs> like, obviously, like, they're not like me and pull out their orb rings and, like, Insert justice. Um, I upload the video on now on Tumblr. Tumblr, no Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, um, again, these are the same price as the Gashpon ones, but I guess technically these ones, I guess, make more sense because they're box and they come with candy. So, again, I don't know how the candy tastes like. Um, I was expecting it to be like the same candy that they typically you know package with oh well um like this this set is more cheaper to get than like six of them so because you're paying like nine dollars for technically all of this or more probably you're paying like probably twelve dollars this is like eighteen dollars so this is like twenty dollars so <laughs> Yeah, like, technically with this, you're paying, like, a obviously, like, if you had another crystal, you're paying for a crystal set. But anyways, that'll be it for this, because, you know, there's not really much to talk about. So, this is Power Rider, and I'll leave you, people. Bye.